Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from SneakerStreet.com and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for dropping back on by. If you haven't done so already or if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. We're at 941 subscribers as we're talking, as we're recording right now. And that means there's only 59 to go before we hit that thousand benchmark. So guys, it takes a second, hit the button, and I think we can do it before the year end, and that's gonna be awesome if we can. Now, also leave a like, drop a comment, because that gets the video through the algorithms to make sure more people can see it, and hit the notification bell. That way you know exactly when I drop a new video like we're doing right now. Now, if you need to find me outside of YouTube, find me on Instagram and Twitter at MadWatcher789. And of course, you can always find me with the guys on the Sneaker History Podcast and SneakerHistory.com. All right, everybody, so today I want to bring one more. Okay, I said it last time, but this is, I mean it, one more video before the end of the year. Uh, this time I want to look back at a Christmas shoe that, you know, we didn't really talk about, I feel like. I mean, I know lately Christmas sneakers haven't been a huge thing, and a lot of times they release them on Christmas Day where we can't even wear them on Christmas till the next year, so that's the whole thing. But basketball sneakers from like, you know, I, I, I want to say, like 2009, 2010, up until maybe 2014, 15, or 16, those were something we all looked forward to as sneaker collectors, sneaker heads. We always wanted to see, ooh, what's that gonna, what, what basketball shoe would come out with in the Christmas colorway, especially knowing that the NBA had that whole uh, Christmas Day lineup. It was cool to see what everybody had on foot from, you know, Kobe to LeBron, KD, D Rose, all those individuals who had those cool shoes. You want to know what they were wearing because it's just, just you know, cool to see. It almost kind of brings you back to being a kid to see exactly what, what they had on on court. Now, again, since they don't do that as often anymore, at least they don't advertise it as heavy, I want to bring back something that I thought was one of the best Christmas shoes out there. And it may be one you agree with me or maybe you don't remember it, but it's going to be the Adidas Crazy 8 in the Nightmare Before Christmas colorway. Now, First things first, we all know the Crazy 8, formerly known as the KB8 when uh, Kobe was at Adidas. It released in 1997, started to retro back in 2007, and this particular one actually released in 2013. Now what's really cool about this pack is that it represents one of probably the most well-known Christmas slash Halloween movies is Nightmare Before Christmas. The coloring is something you don't traditionally see on a Christmas shoe. You always see the reds, the greens, the blues, all like the bright colors or cheery colors. This one has just like a dark, deep purple that has like a marbling effect, which you guys can probably see a little bit closer. I get better shots, of course. But it's done on this kind of, I don't want to say it's leather. It's almost like a vinyl uh, upper, but it really it doesn't even matter. The color is so well that the material doesn't even bother me on this one. Now, along with that, you're going to have glow in the dark accents as well. So all of the foam pieces you see on the side of the shoe, the speckles, all glow in the dark. All of the traction is all translucent, but glows in the dark as well. So that outsole glows pretty bright. These are a little older. I haven't tried them out as of the late, but um, this is definitely, definitely, definitely a cool concept because again, it really embodies that movie. Even down to the laces where if you guys remember Jack Skellington with the black and white suit, the black and white laces here represent that here. So that's really cool. You still have those accents around like on the tongue tag as well, the black and white, the heel tab, and then also kind of the straps they put around the back of the shoe. Now, a lot of accents still stay true to the traditional Crazy 8, like the three-stripe uh, logo here. Uh, oh my God, I can't think of the word. That is going to be embroidered into the toe box. You have the eight in the uh, tongue as well, along with the Adidas equipment logo, right here done in almost that kind of glowing thread. And I don't think the thread glows in the dark. I can't remember. I think they just put a similar color so it gives you that kind of effect. Now, with this, you're gonna have kind of a mesh quilted sock liner and insole. So really cool, a little different, I think, than what they typically do there, just giving a little extra effect. And on the back of the shoe, which is one of the, you know, I guess fun facts about it is that it has the date 12-24-12 stitched in the back, so Christmas Eve, but this particular shoe actually dropped in 2013. Now the D-Rose 3, I wanna say that whatever crazy light was out at the time, and I think a, a Dwight Howard sneaker came out with the same colorway a year before which made sense with the 12, 24, 12. But this one, the Crazy 8, and I think the Top 10 2000 followed up the next year with the same pattern. And again, just that stitching still matched the same day. So it's kind of weird that they wouldn't change the date on it. But I don't know if it's on purpose or maybe they got held up in manufacturing or whatever it may be, but kind of weird that they didn't change it to represent the date it actually did, did drop. Now, you're also gonna have your Adidas logo here on the side, which again does glow in the dark. Adidas branding on the pull tab as well and again right here on the heel of the sneaker. Now this sneaker is again really classic shoe doesn't have a bunch of technology it's just the EVA foam along with a torsion plate in the inside so it's your, your classic chunky basketball shoe still pretty light though considering that it is one of those bigger shoes I think it's definitely can still be played in the day 
I mean, the last time I saw someone playing it that I was paying attention was D Rose playing in the red Chicago Bulls colorway back in the day, which I that was such a clean colorway. I used to have that one and like a sucker, I sold it when I was clearing out some of my collection. So I wish I had that one back, but I'm happy to have this one back in the collection as well because a uh, member of our Discord family was clearing out his collection and just was gracious enough to send these my way because he was just getting rid of them. So I do appreciate uh, our Discord family. They're awesome. If you haven't joined them, make sure you do join our Sneaker History Discord because awesome people in there and you just never know what kind of treasures are floating around that people are trying to, you know, get rid of. So awesome awesome group of guys and everyone there so thank you now guys i didn't want to make this one long so i just want to really showcase this shoe just again a christmas shoe uh since we're in that that season so what is your favorite favorite christmas themed shoe let me know down below do you guys like this one do you like anything else in the collection or is it a completely different shoe let me know down below in the comments i love to talk about it i love to see you guys' opinions and your list as well so you go ahead drop that comment i'll be looking for them i'll try to respond to as many as i can but until next time guys see you